thing it's always hard to look for information that is not there or incorrect or falsified which also happens we just had a new scandal in Belgium on some Ethiopian adoption cases uh, what is very important what we find through our work and like I said we're very new in this business and we've been working for two years and a half only uh, what we notice is even when we don't find results or information people are so grateful that their question is finally taken seriously. A lot of them say it's the first time that someone takes my question seriously. And especially with donor-conceived people, they often get to... With adopted people, there's already an acceptance of them wanting to know where they come from and why they were abandoned by their mother, which is hardly ever the case. Um, but with donor-conceived people, it's they still get these questions like, what, how come it's so important to you? It's just a bit of sperm or, or just a, an egg cell. Why do you care? And people don't understand how important it is to know about this part of your identity as well. So even if we don't find anything, having someone to listen to for hours on end, if necessary, they can call again and again and again. They can come by. They also have, also have the same caseworker all the time so that they don't have to start telling their story over and over again. That in itself is already such a big thing for them that they can start living with the fact that they will never know the whole truth. Or So they feel very supported even if we don't find anything. And also we never really close their files unless they explicitly ask for it in case there would be new information maybe in two years or new techniques to find something or maybe a recheck on my heritage. Maybe by then some relatives may have uploaded some DNA. So you never know. So the cases are hardly ever closed unless we find somebody, of course, or, or something what is asked for.